It started back in 94 on the east coast of the state. Ultraviolet Philadelphia, Gorilla had the rope in the lane. A big no hard low vacancy, full of hard air, breath of fresh air from this industry. Give it up the punks, the dragons, the heroes, they all get through the sea. Hello, world, and all who inhabit it, welcome to episode three of Hooligans Unite. My name is Ruby, and I hope everybody had a very fun and safe. 4th of July. Uh, we have a lot of really exciting announcements for you guys today, so uh, let's get to it. As I said last week, we are going to be announcing the nonprofit that we're going to be working with for the month of July, and this one is very near and dear to my heart because anybody who knows me knows that my dogs are my best pals. Uh, so why not work with the leading national organization for animal welfare, Best Friends Animal Society. The Best Friends Animal Society's mission is to bring about a time where there are no homeless pets. And they do that by increasing the number of adoptions, promoting no-kill rescue, as well as housing the nation's largest animal sanctuary. And we're going to be doing something very special this month. Along with the Hooligans Help, the Best Friends Animal Society fundraiser, uh, we are going to be taking whatever we manage to raise throughout the month of July, and I am going to be matching it for the Dogs Without Borders nonprofit organization. Now, Dogs Without Borders is an organization out of LA, and they are also an organization that helps save dogs from homelessness as well as abandoned dogs from high kill shelters. Um, last year, in 2019, they managed to save 784 dogs. So we're going to be matching whatever we manage to raise for the Best Friends Animal Society and uh, giving that to them because they really, truly deserve it. Now they also have an Amazon wish list where they are asking for contributions to help take care of these furry friends while they try to find their forever home. Now that link will be down below as well as the Hooligans Help the Best Friends Animal Society as well as the direct donation to the Dogs Without Borders. So whichever one you'd like to donate to, please do so. If you choose to donate to the Hooligans Help the Best Friends Animal Society fundraiser, you enter to win some very cool prizes. For every $20 that you donate, you enter for a chance to win an exclusive Hooligans Unite t-shirt, as well as an 8x10 signed by yours truly, um, along with a personalized message or a one-of-a-kind painting done by myself as well as a personalized message. If you donate over $100 and you win the Pay Your Dues raffle, you will be receiving both sets of prizes. And please don't forget that the Hooligans Help the Trevor Project fundraiser is still in full effect for two more weeks. So I know that we can hit our goal, you guys, so please click on that link and donate and get a chance to win some awesome, awesome prizes. And speaking of prizes, as I mentioned last week, in honor of the Hooligans Help the Trevor Project fundraiser, I will be unveiling the painting that you will have the opportunity to win if you go ahead and donate to the Hooligans Help the Trevor Project fundraiser, which is, again, still in effect for the next two weeks. So, without further ado, that's a drum roll. Oh. Da -da -da. I painted this myself. Um, I hope you guys like it. Like I said, it is in honor of Pride Month and uh, the Hooligans Help the Trevor Project. So if you would like a chance to win this, the link is down below. Hooligans Help the Trevor Project. We still have two more weeks for that to go on until we do the Pay Your Dues raffle. And I know that we can hit our $5,000 goal, so please go and donate right now. And one more announcement that I'm very excited to share with you guys is next week we are going to be sitting down and chatting with my good friend, Ryan Nemeth. Now, Ryan Nemeth is an actor, a writer, a comedian, a wrestler. Um, he does it all, really, and he also draws really awesome pictures of dogs. Um, he does personal training, a little bit of everything, and um, he has also done work with the Dogs Without Borders. He's actually the person who uh, who showed me Dogs Without Borders. So um, I'm very excited to have him on next week, and uh, make sure you subscribe so you do not miss the chance 
to hear what Mr. Nemeth has to say. All that being said, now it is time for you guys to take a look at my best pals in the whole world, my puppies, I love them so much. Just to introduce you guys to the things I probably spend more time with than any human being on this planet. Uh, I would love to introduce you um, to Hoovy, the juice, and Barney, Donut, what I refer to as the breakfast club. Meet Barney. Ever since he was little, he's been the most well-behaved dog I've ever had. Did you break the couch? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did, didn't you? He never barks. <laughs> and he always does what I say. All right, sit. Sit. Bernie, sit. 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 Sit down. He's not in the slightest bit annoying. I guess you could say he taught me about unconditional love. I hate you! I hate you. <laughs> and then there's Hoovy. He loves to play with other dogs and is very energetic. Even when he was a puppy, he was always on the go. I don't know why people say he sounds like a pig. <laughs> well, at least he doesn't act like one. You have no shame, do you? None. But they're my best pals, and I don't know what I'd do without them. Okay, we are back in the car. They are exhausted. They just, they played hard. They played hard today. We are headed home to take a bath. A much needed bath. Decided to lay down in the mud, didn't we? Didn't we? Can't take them anywhere. <sighs> we'll see how this goes. First up is Barney. Hi, you ready to get a bath or what? Fortunately enough for me, Neither one of my dogs likes the water. Oh, okay. You ready to be done? No. Oh, I know. I'm pretty cheap. Okay. <laughs> Barney, I know. I know, dude. I know. We love Chewbacca. Mm. Gotta be clean. You're gonna pick up chicks. I saw you surfing at the dog park. I saw it. Will you just for me, please. Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, you son of a... Get in there. It's almost over. We're almost done. We're almost done. How are you so strong? Don't do it. Don't you. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> oh, you son of a... Get the wet dog all over the place. Just get it, just get it right in the carpet. Just really get it in there. Round two, my Sharpay. He really hates water, but it's getting him into the bathroom. That's the hard part. That just took me about 10 minutes to just find him because I think he knew that he was getting a bath today. Are you ready? Yeah, it won't be so bad. Go for it. Face your fears. Yeah. Good job. All right, you're you're in there. Okay, okay, I can give you a boost if you want. There you go. Good job, kiddo. I think he's showing off for the camera because he usually hates getting in this thing. You want know a statue? Am I gonna move or nothing? Oh, oh, nope. <laughs> I know what you're about to do. Let me just face. Look at this. Look at this gorgeous little face. Yeah, you hate this, don't you? Shampoo time! Oh, don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! You little turd ball. No, don't do it! Why? Why? Tell me why you insist on 
shaking. Oh, don't try any funny business, okay? Oh, here we get back in the tub. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, no, do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! Don't do it. Ah! Oh. Same time. Two different times of treats. Ready, lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Ready, sit. Good boy. Ready, up. Good boy. Give me this paw. Give me the other paw. This paw, that paw, that paw again. Yeah, this ball and then that ball. <laughs> yeah, good boy. Let's take this mindset of a scene.